Um, all right, so let's go and take a look at this, guys. You can see here we have uh, two vertical asymptotes and a horizontal asymptote. So a little bit different than some of the graphs that we've been looking at so far. But again, just the main idea that we're going to be looking for is where is the graph approaching from different points. So this one, we're looking at where is the graph approaching at negative 1. Um, actually, let's, let's just actually do the left and right hands first. So here, we're looking for where is the graph as x is approaching negative 1 from the left. So left, you know, so I would call it the left-hand limit. So from the left, kind of put your marker on there, from the left, as we're approaching negative 1, you can see that it's getting really, really close. It's never going to get through the asymptote, but it's going to get really, really close. And it's going to keep on going down towards negative infinity. Let me actually change the color there. It's supposed to work. Ah, oh, that's zero. But as we're approaching negative, negative 1 from the right, which would be the right-hand limit, you can see that we're going up to infinity. The issue is we're approaching negative 1 from the left and from the right. 1 goes to negative infinity, 1 goes to infinity. So we know this limit does not exist. Okay. If we look at the other asymptote, we can see that from the left, as we get really, really close to 2 from the left, we're going up to infinity. As we're getting really, really close to 2 from the right, we're going up to infinity. Technically, infinity is not a value, so you can say it does not exist. But for our sake, we are going to say that it's going up to infinity because they're both going up to infinity. All right. And then last but not least is we have um, as x approaches infinity and x approaches negative infinity. So again, remember my verbiage I said, as x approaches infinity is basically saying as x goes to more and more positive values. So you know, here's 1, here's 2, 3, and we can go to like 10. And as we keep on going to the right, you can see that it's approaching a horizontal asymptote. Right? And based on our knowledge of asymptotes, that's where the graph is approaching, there's no other information that would make us think that it's going to do anything else except approach that asymptote. And that asymptote is at the y value of 1. So we can say that's the value that it is approaching, is 1. From the left, that means we're getting more and more negative values. So negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 10, whatever. And you can see from the bottom, as we get more and more negative, again, this graph looks like it's approaching this asymptote, which again has a y value of 1. So there you go. All right.